Hello everyone, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising monthly tarot reading June 2018. So this is going to be four position and hand spread and the first position expresses up the topic of Gemini's month here. The second card that shows up the challenges that Gemini will have to deal with during this particular month. Third card does expresses up the uh, things which are going to help you or what is going to help Gemini go through that particular month. And last but not least, we do have the final outcome or the result of all that. So as it is in hand spread, uh, it means that there will be more than one card in position. And the first one that comes up, you know, this is going to be the topic of the month. We have the page of uh, coins or the page of pentacles with the um, Ace of Cups. So there is no doubt about it that this is a, about expressing up love. Uh, that could be a sign of a, a big love in relationship, all right? Or it could be a sign of a love of, ch of a child. Now it does depend your personal situation. Excuse me. Excuse me. How? Да, разрешение в видях. Благодаря. Окей, всичко добро. Чао, чао. Alright, so I'm so sorry about that. So that could be, as I said, a, a lovely relationship that comes in your way, all right? or a person which is going to express love towards you. That's the point. Are you going to accept it or not? That entirely depends on you guys because this is the Ace of Cups. It is not Two of Cups all right? and, or Ten of Cups. It doesn't say that it's going to be mutual, but you will have it nonetheless and you get to choose how you can use that particular love coming in your way. That could be from a child from a person or in general from a friend of yours. Now you need to know uh, before I am done with those kind of cards that it's gonna it's gonna come out uh, out of nowhere. These cards speaking of surprise. Why? Because this person is kind of like shy. They they seem rather slow in comparison of others. But in the same time, they are kind of meticulous. And when they put their devotion into something, well they tend to not be able to pull themselves away from it or rather they are ready to go to as far as it needs to go. That being said, <clears throat> this is a, a suitor most likely of yours which is very very dedicated all right and uh, if you choose to go with them in a relationship <clears throat> or you're already in a relationship with them, but you give yourself to the love, uh, this will uh, make a lot of your problems in the material world, in the daily, daily routine, uh, totally irrelevant, because you're going to realize, Gemini, that it is all about love. And for you, the love will waft in the air. Then is the challenges that you need to overcome. That is going to be the judgment card. And we have the Ten of Cups. So that will be for a serious commitment. That is a new that is a new guy. That is a new guy or a new woman. And if you are in a relationship, then you have trouble here, alright? Just let's see that it is a, a big call and you have to make that particular call here. Um, <clears throat> All right. Uh, the only way you can go with that particular love and moving on forward. Do you know what is um, what is wafting in my mind right now? Uh, that that could be a child which isn't yours. It just doesn't leave me aside. That could be a child which isn't yours. It could be a child for adopting or something like this. You know, and 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 kind of like you will have a tough time deciding what to do with it. Uh, something like this, guys. It's it does seems for a, a big that a big dedication, big responsibility. It is uh, awaited from you to take decision upon. Should you take that big responsibility regarding this person over here, or should you not? So although the month looks very positive in a sense of emotional fulfillment knowing that someone loves you and someone really um, see you as the only person for them in the in this life it is also a, a big um, 
a big responsibility from your behalf because you have to start taking care of them all right that that is the thing and the uh, the question for you which rises is how happy i'm going to be in it all right because right now you know i'm happy but when we move forward into the future this this happiness is going to uh, be everlasting now that is what is going to baffle you and just basing on these cards, I would advise you to uh, to stow the situation so you can see it from every single angle. Just because we do have the judgment here into a um, a challenging position, it does mean that um, how can I place it? It does. This is going to be a taunt. All right like the situation or the person itself is going to taunt you and uh, you you may feel that there is no time for you to decide and you have to make the decision with snap of your fi fingers that's not true all right you should approach it very slowly and be very aware with your emotions whenever you are about to make that particular decision you need to know that because the ten of cups in a challenging position and as a catalyst points that you will need more than that in the future maybe not right now you know because well usually if this is a um a suitor that you want to be with uh, at the time being when you are just about to make a relationship you think that this is everything you have ever wanted right it's kind of like when you have it pretty much all of your life suddenly starts worth living again but when you have a, a couple of months you know spend time together you realize that this isn't simply enough and instead of realizing it two months from now when it's going to be way too late, late, you have to realize it right now in this very month uh, so you can make the accurate decision should you make it or should you break it. Then is what is going to help you here. That will be the, the uh, Five of Cups with the Magician card. And you very well know how the game is played. This is described by these couple of cards. You will be very subtle with your explanations and with your communications and you really need to draw upon those kind of qualities of yours and show to that person that you do have the sovereignty. They cannot overpass whatsoever. It is because the Five of Cups here shows that you had a, a similar situation in the past, maybe in a couple of years, maybe in the tens of years, you know? But uh, that doesn't make the poignant experience less poignant, right? And you don't, you definitely don't want to experience the same kind of loss again. And that will be a personal loss. It's not going to be a loss of a person, but loss of self dignity, um, a self confidence, you know, and as well loss of an iron will. That being said, you have to scale how much you worth, all right? And you have to scale here how much your respect worth as well. Very important as well as well to be said here is that you will very well know what you want from life, all right? And you, uh, the only thing that can make you go against that, all right, is the urge of uh, is the urge of rushing the things through. Because, as I said, it's it's a it's a love coming in your way. Who doesn't want love? Who doesn't want it straight away right now in this very moment? But you have to be careful because there is no such thing as a free lunch. A lunch, excuse me. Whenever you do something, it has its price and the bill comes sooner or later. Now you will have the chance here, Gemini, to pay the bill before you actually can consume. <clears throat> so you can choose either to, be, to pay it or not to pay it. That is entirely up to you. But the bottom line is that the love is there. It is just it has it, its costs. And last but not least, we do have the lover's card, which is the summarizing all that. Lover's card, in your case, could mean either the love comes true or the decision itself that you are making, because lover's card is either about decision or it is about harmony into one relationship. And the next card is going to give us a, a glimpse of what this is going to be. We have the two of cups and that is about the love so you are going to make the decision out of love I mean, on your decision at the end of the month here or the results of all that you are going to open your heart and your door and everything to receive the love that it is given to you all right in a such a way that is very important in a such a way that 
you will have the room for expansion afterwards or the spiraling because expansion is about adding new things, you know, adding new relationships, adding new things into your business. We're talking about spiraling here and it's, it's, it's spiraling <clears throat> the, uh, the reach of your heart and spiraling the, uh, basically the amounts of love that you do have in between in this you and this person so it is based on the conditions you do so what i can advise you here is either this is going to be a suitor or a child whatever you know or even your current uh, partner that you are in relationship because this could mean that they will want to make an engagement on, or marriage here with with that particular combination all right uh, you need to confront them straight away and say what you expect and you need to be very straight and very cold and cunning with it. There is no two, there is no two ways to say the truth. Truth, truth is only one and there is only one way to say it and that is the straight way, alright? Playing with words will not give you the result you need. At uh, the very least you are going to lose your self-respect from it. And also uh, draw from the experience of the poignant ex past experiences you had as well. So uh, with that being said, Geminis, this was your Monkey Tower reading June 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.